Hello! In this video, I'm going to be doing an example problem on molarity. Alright, so here's an example. If I have 80 grams of sodium hydroxide in a 4 molar solution, I need to be able to find the volume. Remember, molarity is basically concentration. Moles of solute over liters of solution. Alright, I'm just going to write that down. Molarity equals moles over liters. It has to be in liters. And I've got molarity, I'm going to type that in, 4.00 molar, and that equals moles over liters. Volume is what I'm looking for, so that's my unknown. They don't explicitly tell me what my moles are, but they do tell me that I'm dealing with 80 grams of sodium hydroxide. So I can convert that to moles, 80.0 grams of NaOH. I'm going to do a conversion factor of 1 mole on top of the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. That's where I'm going to need my periodic table. Sodium is right over here, 23.0. Oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. All right, so we had 23.0 plus 16 plus 1. I think I have my calculator with me. Since this is chemistry class, 23 plus 16 plus 1 is 40. All right, so 80 times 1 divided by 40 should be about 2. There you go. And that's 2 moles. All right, so now I plug that in to my molarity equation. 2 moles over an unknown volume equals 4 molar. A lot of times, um, People take 4 moles and divide it by 2. You can't do that. You have to do correct algebra. you got to multiply both sides by the denominator. Multiply by V. And that's going to bring me to 4.00 molar times V equals 2 moles. And I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Or what I could do is I could just switch the V with my 4 flip-flop. That would also work. Give me the same thing. 4 cancels out, V equals 2 over 4, and that's 0. 0.5 liters, and I know that's liters because volume is always going to be um, in liters. All right. So if I have 80 grams of sodium hydroxide in 4 molar solution, I am going to have 0. 0.5 liters in order for that to happen. That is how you do a molarity problem.